All right, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, our lesson for today, the fall of Napoleon and his empire. So our objectives and standards recognize how nationalistic feelings in European countries hurt Napoleon, <coughs> and they analyze why the French people welcome Napoleon back as a leader. And take a look at the standards there as well. Desired result. How did Napoleon and his empire come to an end? Some vocab here. Blockade, the continental system, guerrillas, and the scorched earth policy. So Napoleon leads to his own downfall. Napoleon had a love of power that led to his own downfall. There are three major events that helped accelerate this process. The continental system, the peninsula war, and the invasion of Russia. Now the continental system, Napoleon enacted a blockade or a closing of ports in Europe to prevent communication and trade with Great Britain. Great Britain and France were pretty much like arch enemies at this time. Napoleon called this the continental system since its goal was to make the mainland of Europe more self-sufficient. Now the blockade was not very successful and people, especially smugglers, ignored it. Um, Great Britain enacted their own blockade that was stronger and more efficient against France. <coughs> so this is one of the ways that uh, Napoleon leads to his own downfall. So here's a picture of what uh, the blockade looked like. Now you can see United Kingdom on the outside there and then around uh, that red dotted line there shows you where the blockade was. The Peninsula War. When Napoleon tried to get Portugal to accept the continental system, he sent troops through Spain. Now, the Spanish people are going to be angry about this, and they protested it. Napoleon responded by removing the Spanish king and placed his own brother on the throne. Now, this only enraged the people of Spain further, and they decided to fight back. Uh, these people that fight back, they were known as guerrillas, or a group of citizen soldiers, and they attacked French troops. And people around Europe also began uh, fighting back against Napoleon. <coughs> the invasion of Russia. Now, per perhaps Napoleon's biggest mistake was invading Russia. Uh, France and Russia were allies, but Russia began to refuse to stop selling grain to the British, so they start selling grain to the British again. Russia also pulled out of the continental system in 1810, which resulted in the invasion by Napoleon in 1812. And they also agreed on the de I'm sorry, they also disagreed on the de design of Poland. Now, as French forces invaded, Russian troops began to pull back, and they burned crops and killed livestock, and this is known as the scorched earth policy. This left the enemy nothing to eat. After many battles, French forces uh, made the return march home in the wintertime, and as <coughs> the French <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. As the French forces were marching home, along with dealing with the winter and the cold and disease, Russian forces are going to be attacked and killed by many soldiers. Other French soldiers died of the cold, disease, wounds, or hunger. The downfall of Napoleon. All of the major European powers then decide to unite against Napoleon. He was forced to surrender and he was exiled or banished to an island off the Italian coast. Now, Louis the um, 16th brother took the throne after the exile of Napoleon. However, the new king was not well liked, and Napoleon saw his kind of his chance again, his opening again. He and his army took control of the government yet once again, um, but Great Britain and other European nations will be quick to respond to this. Great Britain and Prussian forces are going to attack French troops at the Battle of Waterloo in uh, Poland. Eventually, the French were forced to retreat, and this is going to be Napoleon's last attempt at power, and it's going to be crushed. He will be exiled, exiled again to another island, this time actually in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean, uh, where historians believe he died of cancer, perhaps. All right, so that's the end of Napoleon. That's the end of this kind of brief rise in the French Empire. Um, so please try your best on the questions that follow. And I will hopefully see and talk to you soon. <clears throat>